Hi guys, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy podcast, episode number 142. Welcome. Okay, so for my finished objects this week, I finished the granny summer bag that I've been working on for a while. Uh, so let me show it to you. Move back here. No, it's so big you can't see it. <laughs> you can't see the bottom of it. But anyway, here it is. I really like the way it turned out. I like the straps. I even lined it. <laughs> so, very happy. And it's very it's going to be very, very roomy. So, it's going to hold a very nice project. Or it can be used as a beach bag um, also. This is made with uh, peaches and cream um, violet stripes. Okay, peaches and cream stripes. Uh, I think that's a four-weight cotton yarn. Anyway, um, I did a tutorial, well, I guess, I guess you can call it a tutorial, but I did a video showing how I put this together, um, and so if you want to check that out, uh, it should be up within a couple of days. I still have to edit it, um, but I did get the filming part of it finished today, so, um, be looking for that. <laughs> okay, so finish object number one. Okay, finish object number two is um, partly finished. Well, it's the this part of it's finished. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so Michelle Estrada, she is a designer, um, crochet designer. She's done quite a few really cute items, and um, she's the one. Let's see. Oh, I put I I put the stuff up, but she made the little pig pillow, the one that I made, and a little frog amigurumi. Um, anyway, so she sent me the pattern for her koala family to review, and so I am working on her pattern. And in that pattern, there's a mama koala bear and a, a koala and a baby koala. So I have gotten the baby koala done mostly done <laughs> he is all crochet he's finished as far as crocheting sewing him together all that weaving all the ends the only thing i she did is she colored on the inside of his ears a little pink um like with i don't know what blush or i've done different things i've even used chalk to do that well i'm not sure what my uh my blush is for that. I bought some to keep here in the craft room to use to you put on amigurumis and um, I don't know what I did with it. So anyway, I'll either do that or I I was even thinking I could even crochet a circle of pink or something to put in there. But anyway, I think it turned out really cute. The pattern is super easy. Uh, Michelle just really designs great patterns. Uh, so anyway, this is the finished object part of that pattern. <laughs> okay, next is... Okay, so the next one is... Uh, I don't know if you call it a half-finished object. Um, I am finished with... Uh, Teddy's down here on the floor. I want to make sure I didn't, didn't step on him when I shifted. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, I finished the part that was released. Okay, so this is Llama Mama Kayla's mystery uh, loom along, although it's not loom along for everybody. I'm crocheting it, so for me it's a crochet along. Um, anyway, she has released up to row 14, and I did... Um, complete that up to I had like three rows I needed to catch up and so I finished that and um I can now guess what the mystery item or the mystery picture is and I did send Kayla a message and with my guess and she said I got it right <laughs> so I'm not going to say what it is but I will post a picture right here because it still has bobbins connected to it because I'm doing it like a graph gan uh, with the block stitch so it still has bobbins connected to it so it's hard to hold up but I will put in a picture here um, so that way you can see what I've done so far on it and that I've gotten up to row 14 and uh, you can probably guess what it is but I'm not going to say. <laughs> so here it is. So I'm having a wonderful time doing that project. Um, I, th I know that the picture and the 
well, after it gets finished, that it's going to look awesome. Uh, thanks, Kayla, for doing this. Uh, it's just, I'm really having a lot of fun with it. Uh, and I will link um, below links to her YouTube channel or her YouTube video where she um, talks about it's like the introduction the first video about this mystery crochet along stitch along whatever you want to call it and um, I will link that below and you can jump in anytime and start from the beginning and, and don't worry about that it's already gotten 14 rows into it everybody's kind of at different levels uh, in the project so it's kind of a work as you go thing okay so that is all my finished objects half finished objects uh, or finished sections <laughs> uh, that I have to show for this week now works in progress I am really zooming along on the circle circles and stripes throw I've just been really enjoying putting these together um, I've got, um, got almost all the squares done now I will pop in a picture here of what the blanket is well what the pattern looks like okay so that's the circle and stripes throw I got it out of a crochet magazine that I have Cro crochet not crochet world I think it's just crochet magazine or something anyway um, it was like a special edition um, issue and so anyway I am basing my pattern off of that but I'm doing it a different size I'm not making that many squares because my squares are coming out larger I'm using a little bit larger hook and so I'm just kind of using that as a, to go by but I'm kind of changing it so anyway I have got all my squares done I've picked out four colors uh, for those circles and so far and they're all Karen simply soft this the colors of the circles and so I have uh, purple that is uh, Karen simply soft grape okay and then I have this cobalt blue is what this color is called okay and then I have um, let's see I have this one which is chartreuse right there <laughs> and then now I'm working on my fourth color which is uh, it is called super duper yellow so it's this one <laughs> and so I am doing I'm gonna do five squares by four squares so that's 20 I'm doing five colors five of each of the four colors and so I have to do I think I got a couple more of the blue to do uh, the greens and the purples I've got all of them done I'm working on the yellows now I have three of the circles but they haven't been turned into squares yet so I got to do two more of these circles and then turn you know turn them into the squares and then then I can stitch it together so I'm real excited about that it's uh, I just like having this by my chair when I'm uh, watching in the evening watching um, videos or whatever with my husband and I can just make up certain you know just be working on circles so uh, I've gotten you know pretty good stack of them finished I have a few ends I have to weave in here and there but I'm trying to keep up with those <laughs> and so um, this color now this color right here is a charcoal you can see that it's a charcoal gray color that I'm using for the main color to tie them all together um, it is some I got in a uh, miss like a millions bag mystery bag from Lime Brand. I think it was like where you got a one pound of worsted weight yarn, and um, I got this big package of this dark charcoal gray yarn, and so I'm using that as my main color for this uh, project. And then, so with my with my squares, they're set. I thought they were eight inch squares. They're not. They're seven and a half inch squares. And so when I put four across, that's like thirty inches by thirty eight inches. If I do five down, and so I'm going to that striped border that you saw in the picture. I'm going to do probably like a three inch of that border all the way around it to get it a little bit wider and taller. Uh, I'm aiming it to be. Um, lap gan size or wheelchair throw size something like that so anyway I'm I'm having fun putting these together um, I mean creating them and now I'm gonna get I'm gonna stitch them together soon I'm almost almost to that point okay so that is works in progress number one works in progress number two okay now the stash buster 2020 this is a crochet along that crystal of chronically crocheting is hosting uh, once a month for the whole year and um, so she released the 
uh, well, she is doing it, but then every every couple of months there she has a guest host that takes over for that month. And so this month, Amber of Ooh Ah Crochet is hosting, and I will put the a link to the video down below where she talks about and announces the project for this month. And so anyway, the project for this month is a spring themed project. Okay, so this is what I've decided to do. Okay, so if you've been following me um, for a while, you know, a year or so, well, I did this, I designed, uh, just make sure the dog wasn't down there. Okay, I designed this wall hanging, okay? Uh, it's my design, and it's just a corner-to-corner -corner blocks that I designed and we put together, and actually there is a crochet along on here on my channel, uh, both right-handed and left-handed versions on how I did it, how I put it together. Um, and so anyway, I had been asked by a few people here and there if I was going to do the other seasons. So I have been, well, I was designing them and then I kind of put them to the side for a while. Well, I decided to look back into it and I discovered that I had pretty much done the spring themed one uh, in the design process and so I've decided to use that as my project um, to participate in the Stash Buster 2020 because it's a spring ba uh, wall hanging or banner and so I started on that and so uh, I will pop in a picture here because it is quote, corner to corner that means it has some bobbins connected to it still because I'm not finished with it and so I will pop in a picture here of my progress on that project. <laughs> So as you can see, it is going to be another uh, three uh, paneled or three piece uh, project. Uh, like this one, it'll have the word spring down here. Now I'm doing it in a little smaller stitch than this. I think it's like a mini corner to corner, which I'm using half double crochet stitches instead of uh, double crochet stitches because I had to make it in, in order to get the letters spring on there because there's more letters than fall. Um, it was going to be longer. I think the width was going to be about the same, but it was going to be longer. And so I decided to do it smaller. Um, and so I'm doing it in a like mini corner corner version uh, but anyway the the um, it could be done in any size stitch if or even yeah any type of graph gan type process you want to do anyway uh, so I'm working on that uh, finishing it up and then I uh, my husband uh, agreed to help me put together a PDF file of that pattern so um, be looking for that when we kind of get everything united together and fixed. <laughs> so anyway, I've got I'm working on it. So that is my progress on that one, which would be my works in progress number two. Okay, works in progress number three is the mama koala to go with the koala family. I just have this much done. I've got the eyes in, but that's it. Um, but the the pattern goes quickly, and so um, I should be able to get that finished up. Um, this next week um, hoping hoping <laughs> okay so uh, the only other thing I did is I started since I had finished the shawl that I was working on before the fringed um, granny shawl that I did I think that's what it's called anyway I decided to start another shawl because I like using my uh, mandala cakes back there and so I decided to do the erigenia shawl I have done that project before. This will be like my third one that I've done and I enjoyed the project and so I've decided to do that. So I just barely got started on it. Um, so that's all I've gotten so far. <laughs> but the colorway I'm going to be using, I have used this for this pattern before because I think the first one I did, I made it in Spirit. The second one I made it in Sphinx, which this is what this is. Um, I believe it's going to take, I think it takes about one and a half cakes of it I think and so um, I really like the way this one came out when I made it in this colorway before and so I'm gonna do it again <laughs> and I'm using a I think it's an H hook I think that's what it is I'm using yeah I'm using an H H hook for it so anyway 
if that's not right, then I'll tell you again next week if, if that's not the right hook I'm using, but I think that's what I'm using for it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. That is all of my works in progress. I'm really having a hard time not starting everything because Krista of the Secret Yarnery, she, now uh, she just released a tutorial for a spiral type granny. Oh, I want to do it so bad. But <laughs> I know that I need to finish, oh, I got to finish some of these other projects uh, because I've got lots of stuff upcoming. So let's go into that. Upcoming <laughs> is the tutorial for the summer bag or, or my process of how I put it together, okay? So that video will be up uh, within the next few days. I just have to edit it. And then uh, I had said last week that I was gonna, I had found a backpack buddy pattern that I wanted to make and well, I didn't get to it. So I put it, I kept it back on my list. And so I'm hoping to get to it this week because it's really gonna be cute whenever I get it done. <laughs> Um, and then I also taking part of the ha in the Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge, which is a monthly challenge for this year. That Christy of T Doddles and Christy of Cre Crochet Creations by Christy, I think that's right. <laughs> uh, they are hosting, and they're kind of like tag teaming. So like last month, um, Christy of Crochet Creations by Christy. Uh, she did the challenge of doing the Valentine and I did the little Valentine coaster but I made it bigger um, and so today is the first Thursday of the month so I'm thinking sometime today Christy of Tea Dolls she's gonna be hosting this month of March and she's gonna be releasing her video saying what the challenge is for this month and so um, that should be coming out today or soon anyway and so that's coming up whatever it may be <laughs> and then of course this is a new month so I need to get on to my goal of doing the three preemie hats per month and so I need to go ahead and get the first one started I haven't done that yet and of course my goal for this monthly for throughout the year is to work on the Rudolph the red nose reindeer uh, crochet kit this one <laughs> and um, so I have done Rudolph and Santa so far so the next one in the book is going to be um, Clarice which is Rudolph's girlfriend which would be uh, her <laughs> and so I'm working I need to get her started um, so yeah I need her started uh, oh, I also got an email at somebody requesting uh, for me to do um, make her one of the Santas. She really, she said she liked the way it turned out, and so she asked me if she would make it. And so, or if I would make it for her, you know, she would buy it or whatever. And I said no. I said let's, I'll do it. But I said let's do a, a swap with each other because I haven't done a crochet swap with anybody in a while, and so um, I want I would think. I think that would be fun and so let's let's do that and then I will include the Santa in the swap box that I will be sending to her and this uh, person that I'm going to be doing this swap with she doesn't make YouTube videos but she is a faithful watcher of my uh, or viewer of my videos and uh, so and we have an email back and forth a little bit with each other uh, her name is Ginger and so um, I am looking forward to doing this swap with her and so uh, that will be upcoming when we get uh, that all put together <laughs> Um, and so that's upcoming and one more thing is upcoming I need to talk about is you, if you haven't watched it I released a video yesterday of whip wall Wednesday number three I have picked my next project from my whip wall to try to get finished up and off my whip wall and so yesterday I filmed the first video d telling what project that is that I'm going to be working on uh, so that and so that video was released yesterday it's on my channel so and I will link it below uh, a link to get you to the to that video if you haven't seen it yet um, and so check that out and see what project that is I'm going to be working on for that series <sighs> okay <laughs> so I think that is it for today's video um, thank you so much everybody for all the new subscribers we're almost to 8,000 we're getting really close um, it's so exciting I can't wait um, 
I just, I just love, like I said, I always say this all the time, but it's so true that I just enjoy interacting and meeting and talking to people, you know, through comments and messages from all over the world. It's just so fun, and I really enjoy it, and I love being able to share uh, a mutual interest, you know, that we all love yarn and yarny things, and it's just so fun to be able to share with each other. Uh, here and then also on my Facebook group which is called Yarn Joy Podcast. You can go over there and join that group if you haven't. Um, but thank you to my new, new subscribers and the ones that have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll be coming up on my third anniversary of YouTube in just, well, toward the end of May, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and so, um, so if you haven't subscribed, please do and, and check out and follow all the projects that I'm always working on and follow my progress on them. Um, so I think that's it. Uh, we're having some great spring-like weather. Um, so it's very nice. The, the, the flowers are blooming. <laughs> we have this tree here that's called a mountain laurel if you're not from this part of the country. And the blooms, they only bloom once a year for about a month something like that right around between February and March and they bloom these beautiful purple flowers and they smell so good you can just smell them on the air you know it's like honeysuckle or something you know you can smell them in the air and they just smell good they smell like grape to me like grape kool-aid or something I don't know they smell good <laughs> and they're blooming I have a big one in my front well I have a couple of big ones in my front yard so <laughs> anyway I love this time of year because they they bloom and it smells so good and of course all the other flowers are beginning to bloom um, so anyway <laughs> so everybody have a great weekend and we will see you in the next video bye